Welcome back to some more Go Go Nippon. So where we last left off, well, apparently still in Kyoto, exploring around. So let's continue reading. Hmm, we've been walking around a lot all day, but hmm, there's so much to see in Kyoto. There is. We've only been hitting up the main spots. You can't see it all in just a day or two. Anyway, you better get out of here before evening. We have time to see about one more place. Which means the next thing we will <laughs> next thing we see will be our last. That's right, and I know just the place for us to go. The place to go? Where is that? <laughs> that is. Gee, I wonder. First the entry fee there. Damn, that's a lot. Here. <laughs> I get it. This is this is the Uzumaza Movie Village. It's a theme park, a recreation of an Edo period village. Amazing! I never knew this was here. It takes about 30 minutes by train from Kyoto, but I really wanted to show it to you. I see. These are fairly rare in Japan, but they're quite fun, especially. A recreation of ancient Japan, I see, then this is... <laughs> You're in a daze. Huh? Uh, sorry, I just... Don't worry about it. I'm just happy that you seem to be having fun. Yeah, I'm really glad we came here. Thanks. Uh, sure. She just blush. <laughs> She's shy. Oh, Nechan, stop it. You're doing it again. <laughs> Ah, that reminds me, you called this a movie village earlier. Ah, originally a lot of Japanese movie companies would film here. Because a lot of our movies back then were Jidai Geki. Uh, literally, period films often used to refer to samurai movies. So most of the Jidai Geki ended up getting filmed here. Then a part of the set was opened for the public to enjoy, which is why it's called Iz Uzumaza Movie Village. That's right. I see. That's interesting. What's really amazing is that they didn't just recreate the surface of the buildings. You can actually walk around and experience the town for yourself. Wow. So what kind of things can you do? Let's see. For instance, there are exhibits about the filming process. Hmm. hmm. And you can experience the traditional culture of Kyoto. I see, I see. And there are Chanbara shows too. Chanbara, a genre of action oriented samurai films referring to the clashing of swords. Chanbara? And you don't just watch them, they'll really teach you the Chanbara style. Whoa! You can really try. John Barra? I'm not sure about that, but we can at least do that. That? What's that? It's... You'll see when we get there. That's right, so let's go! Huh? Wait, is this... Well, which do you want? You have to choose. Actually, why don't you choose for us too? Choose for you. Me? Yeah. Let's do it that way. Uh, okay then. And let me warn you, you better choose seriously. I know. Hmm, let's see, for the two of you. Wow. I'm ready. Are you guys still changing? Well. Women always take longer to get ready. Here we are. Oh, that was quick. Huh? Wow. Freaking beautiful. Whoa. Wow, this is what I'm talking about right here. Look at that. Ta-da. How is it? Do you like it? I'm sorry you took so much time. Uh, huh? Uh, wow. 
question. You guys look so amazing. <laughs> Thank you. Hmm, you don't look bad yourself. Really? I couldn't really say. Do I look like a samurai? Yeah, you look like a dashing samurai. Seriously? Yeah, you look like a dashing villainous governor. Ha! <laughs> Evil governor. <laughs> I mean, that's not a compliment at all. <laughs> Took you long enough. <laughs> but anyway, I didn't think I'd get to dress up like this. And moreover, yeah, the girls really look amazing. They always look great, but I think I prefer them in the Japanese style clothes. Hmm? What's wrong, Akira? Hmm, I just don't think I can accept this. Can accept what? You picked a princess costume for my sister, so why did you make me a lady samurai? I wanted to be more feminine. Like a Maiko, or... I wouldn't have minded a princess outfit like Onechan's either. Well, I just... You just... What? I just kind of... Just spit it out already. It's just... Akira is such a happy, active girl. I think this suits her better than princess clothes. Ah, right? Don't you think, Makoto? Yes, I do. As her older sister, I also think that Alpha brings out her charm a bit more than the others. Hang on a minute here. What are you guys talking about in English? Really? It's like, no. <laughs> but while I know you're saying it in English, so... She won't understand. I think you should probably tell her. But I don't know what she'll do to me if I tell her that. Come on, stop leaving me out of the conversation. I don't think it will be bad. She'll be happy to hear it. Are you sure? I'm sure. <sighs> I know you guys are saying bad things about me. We are not. We're complimenting you. You're lying. <laughs> Fine then, you're saying I don't look good in pretty things. Come on now, don't pout. Don't pout. Uh, fine. Villainous governors who entered into conspiracy will face my judgment. Prepare yourself. Let's do this. Huh? Whoa, wait a second here. It's dangerous to swing a sword around. Resistance is useless. Whoa. Whoa. Oh my god. This is just too awkward. Thank you for riding to Shinkansen today. The train will... Just two days. Such a brief two days, but we got so much done. There are so many places we didn't get to go. When I come back to Japan, I'll have to come here again. Farewell, Kyoto. Until we meet again. <laughs> but what? Nothing. You look so serious, I wondered what you were thinking about. Oh, I was thinking, I hope I get to come to Kyoto again. Again? Yeah, I'd like to come with you again. With who? Akira or with me? Huh? <laughs> nothing. What? Why did she have to ask me something so nerve-wracking? She must be exhausted. Hmm? I mean, Aki-chan, look, she's fast asleep. Wow, she really is... Zs. Hey, what do you think of Akira? What do you mean? Do you think she's pretty? Well, sometimes she gets mad at me, but yeah, that's part of her charm, and I think she's a very pretty girl. Akira is awkward about expressing herself, but she's very honest, right? When she's upset, she gets angry, and when she's happy, she gets angry again, so hide her feelings. But it's easy to see through it when you're around her all the time. That's true. She seems very free about expressing her feelings. I agree. Right? She's always been that way. She brings joy to the people around her, and everyone falls in love with her. But... But? But... I'm not like that. You're not? Yes. Unlike Akira, I've always been bad about saying what I really feel. Ever since I was a child, I... 
I've been unable to put my feelings into Honor's words. I wonder about that. She's teased me so much, it's hard for me to imagine, but... I'm sure what she's talking about is something completely different. Because I always wanted to be seen as a good girl. So I've always been on my best behavior, acting however I could so that people would like me. What should I say in any given situation? When I was young, I was so preoccupied with that. And while I was doing that, people decided that I was a very good girl. That's how they saw me. Makoto is a good girl. Makoto is a reliable girl. Makoto would never do something like that. That's how I wanted to appear. I wanted it and so I led people to view me that way. But... Hmm. But, but because of that, now I've become afraid to express how I really feel. Makoto... I'm very selfish, aren't I? But when I look at Akira, I end up thinking, I wish I could be more honest. To say what I'm feeling without worrying about what the people around me think. I guess these worries must seem ridiculous to a foreigner like you, but... It's not ridiculous. Huh? I don't know. I don't find it ridiculous at all. It's something you're seriously worried about, right? I would never laugh at you for that. But while I won't laugh, I do think you're worrying too much. Ah? Uh, well, I think there's only one way you can set your worries at ease. Just have to start saying how you feel as honestly as possible, right? But if I do that, then people might be disappointed in me. The people who have loved me for so long might hate me when I think about that. I just... Don't worry. It's not gonna happen. <laughs> that won't happen. Even if you said how you really feel, even if it changes how people think about you. I don't think anyone will blame you for it, Makoto. They're not going to hate you, Makoto. Because you're... You're an amazing person. I can't imagine anyone hating you, Makoto. I guarantee it. I know that a guarantee from a person you barely know doesn't mean much, but... But I promise you one thing. Even if other people might hate you for what you say, I... I never will. Funny. Uh-uh. Did I say something weird just now? No, not at all. I was just a little surprised. Surprised? Why? Well, it's the first time anyone said something like this to my face. Huh? Really? I guess it must be true, but it's hard to believe. They haven't, to tell you the truth. I haven't even received a love confession before. No way. It's true. I flirted, I suppose, but... But all through school, the boys barely even talked to me. I was always keeping close to the other girls. I wonder if the boys actually had trouble talking to her because she's so gorgeous. <laughs> but now maybe that's not important. If I can become more honest. Huh? N nothing. Nothing at all. Anyway, thank you. I think I can become more honest now because of what you said. No, I'm sure I can. No way. I didn't do anything. You certainly did. This is all thanks to you. Thanks to... So, I mean it. Thank you. Uh... Makoto smiles just now. Was so... Huh? Uh, nothing. Just glad to be of help. What am I going to do? I think without realizing it. Realizing it, but... Well, whatever that floats. Tadaima. Tadaima, phew, I'm beat. We were only away for a day, but it really makes you appreciate the home you've got. Ah, uh, I know how you feel. Really? Maybe that's one of those human traits that crosses all cultures then. Yeah, I think it is. Anyway, it's gone by fast, hasn't it? Huh? The time since you got here, it's really gone by fast. Kind of wish you didn't have to go home in two days. Yeah. Just kidding. 
There's nothing we can do about it. We knew this was coming, after all. R right Guess you'll be heading out early then? Ah, maybe. Think I have to leave in the morning, probably. Hmm, then tomorrow will be your last day for sightseeing. I guess so. Hmm. Is there anything you'd like to see tomorrow? Ah, I don't know. I'll have to think about it. Okay, well, it'll be your last day of sightseeing, so just make the most of it. Right. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. That's right. Like Akira said, tomorrow will be my last day to look around the city. Where should I go on my last day? No, the thing I should be asking myself isn't where to go. It's who to go with. For my last day of sightseeing, I want to be with... Excuse me, are you still awake? Huh? Um, can I come inside? Uh, Makoto! Uh, sure, uh, come on in. I'm sorry, I know you must be tired. Uh, no, it's fine, I'm not even in bed yet. I see. Makoto, what could she want at this time of night? Listen, there's something I need to ask you. Sure. Um, earlier you said you didn't know where you want to go next. Uh, yeah, I still haven't. In, in that case, I... What do you think of getting out of Tokyo and seeing Kamakura? Kamakura? Yes, and I'd come along with you, of course. What do you think? Um... Ah, uh, you don't have to if you don't want to, then you don't have to force yourself. Not at all, I do want to. I totally want to. I really want to go there with you. Really? Yeah, Kamakura, you said? Let's go and have a look. Um, sure. Kamakura, then. I'm sorry, I'm being so... Huh? Nothing. Nothing at all. Anyway, see you tomorrow. Sure, got it. I can get up at the same time as always, right? Yes, that's just fine. Gotcha. I'm really looking forward to it. Yes, I am too, so... Good night. Good night. Or uh, in Japanese, Nini. Phew. I know I said I wanted to go, but... I honestly have no idea what Kamakura is. But I don't mind going at all. Because more than where I want to go, it's who I want to go with. Tomorrow, this is my last day to take a trip with Makoto. I hope it'll be a good day. And then we got the last day. I'm glad the weather's nice today. This is my last day to look around Japan. Once I leave here, I don't know how long it'll be until I can come back. I've got to make this a great day. I won't re regret. So, are you ready to go? Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> In that case, let's go. Sure. Our destination today is Kamakura, and there are several ways to get there. For instance, you can get there from Tokyo, Shinjuku, Ikebukuro, and Shinagawa stations without transfers. From any of those stations, the time it takes is about one hour, so it's a small trip from the Tokyo area. One hour. What's wrong? Is that a problem? Uh, no, it's not that, it's just... I know what I said yesterday, but the truth is I don't know a thing about Kamakura. Is that so? Yeah, I just ended up saying it because I was so happy you asked me to come along with you. Ah, happy I asked? Yeah, so I just blurted it out. I see. Sorry, are you mad at me? Ah, no, I'm not mad at all, I'm just... Just? Makoto? Ah, so sorry, um, that's it. 
You wanted to know about Kamakura, right? Huh? Oh, right. Kamakura is an old city in Tokyo's neighboring prefecture, Kanagawa. Kanagawa. Yes, the shoguns ruled there about 800 years ago, so it has a long history. Yeah. Huh? What? Wait, I thought the capital city 800 years ago was Kyoto. But you say the shogun was in Kamakura? That's right. There's a history behind that, but... Why don't we save that explanation until we're in Kamakura itself? Uh, sure, that seems wise. Well, here we are. This is the most historic shrine in Kamakura. The Tsuruga Oka Hachimangu. Tsuruga Oka Hachimangu. Wow, I've seen a lot of shrines and temples since I came to Japan, but this one takes the cake. You could say this shrine symbolizes the center of Japan's power 800 years ago. Ah, now that you mention it, you said something like that before. That's right. Shall I continue my explanation from earlier? The capital of Japan since the 8th century was Kyoto, but Japan wasn't fully unified at that time. The east in particular, the region beyond what is now Tokyo, what is now Tokyo was unsettled territory, and there were places the emperor's control could not reach. The shogun was there to try to bring those regions under control. A bit like Caesar's Gallic campaign? Yes, but Caesar was the unquestioned ruler at the time. And the Japanese shogun was just appointed by the emperor, right? That's right, but 800 years ago the appointed shogun, Miramoto no Yoritomo, amassed enough power that he effectively was the ruler. In other words, while the capital of Japan at the time was in Kyoto, the real center of power was here in Kamakura, that's right. By the way, the central area under control of the shogun's government was called Bakufu. The kanji used to write Bakufu refers to the center. Fu of the camp Baku. It's called that because long ago the shogun would conduct politics in his camp of trusted men during wartime. Bakufu. That's right. So the era when the Bakufu was in Kamakura was known as the Kamakura period. Ah, so then the era when the Bakufu was in Tokyo was called, yes, the Edo period. Ah, I see. That makes a lot of sense. I sure learn a lot when I'm out with Makoto. So, about the Tsuru Gauka Hachimangu, the clan that made up the Kamakura Bakufu would pray for victory at the shrine. Its roots go back almost a thousand years. One thousand years. That's right. Ah, speaking of which, there used to be a large ginkgo tree on the way up the steps to the main hall. It was such a large tree, they say it was over one thousand years old. It had been looked after for so long as a symbol of the shrine, but... Sounds like something happened. Yes, not long ago. A strong wind blew it over. A wind? That's a shame. It is, but a bud from that fallen tree was transplanted nearby, and it's recently begun to sprout. It was making new sprouts? After a thousand years? Yes. Wow. Trees really are long-lived. Many Japanese temples and shrines have these old trees, where a god resides, they're called Shimboku, sacred trees. I think it's possible that a god really did inhabit that large ginkgo tree. A god, huh? The Japanese belief that gods reside in objects in nature sure is different from our religious views. But it's still pretty fascinating. That's it. Hey, as long as we're here, would you like to pull in, pull in Omikuji? Oh, Mikuji. Oh, Mikuji are things you can buy at shrines and temples. 
There's strips of paper that will determine your luck for the year. You pull them out randomly and they tell you about your luck and all kinds of things like love and academics. In other words, it's like fortune telling. Hmm, maybe. Because people do want to see more good results written on the paper they pull. But more than fortune telling, I think it's closer to a test of luck. A test of luck, huh? So, how do we do it? Different shrines have different methods. Some have you pull a stick from a wooden box and, do- <laughs> and choose the paper with the number written on the stick. And in some, you pull a folded piece of paper directly from the box. Ah, that's right. The Sur... I can't even pronounce it. The Tsurugaoka Hachimangu even has vending machines for them. Vending machines? That's so Japan. They're under vending machine empire. But that feels sort of tried to me. There, if you pay the Miko at the teller window over there, you can pull a fortune. Miko Shrine Maiden. I already know the definition. I see. Then let's give it a try. <laughs> as long as we're here, I guess it, I will too. Easy enough. So, what is the result? Um, ah, that's great. It's Daikichi. Daikichi? Yes, in Japan, good things are called Kichi and bad things are called Kyo. The luck written on your Omikuji are intervals between Kichi and Kyo. Daikichi means big Kichi. It's the best luck you can get. I see. That's great, Makoto. Yes. Now let's see. Everything will go well for you. Tests favorable. Relationships. Hmm. Huh? What's wrong, Makoto? Nothing. It's just the luck I got in relationships. Relationships? Is that like luck and love? Yes. But what's written there? You want to know? Yeah. It says the love of my life is close at hand. Huh? Close at hand. Does that mean? Just kidding. It really says you have to. Yeah. Really says you have yet to meet the love of your life. Ah. I see. Yet to meet. That means I'm not the love of her life. Anyway, give me a look at your Omikuji. Uh, sure. Let's see. Um, how's my luck? How is it? This is. Uh, what is it? What's wrong? Sorry, the the language is a little complicated, so I can't read it. Oh, come on. You made me think something terrible was written on there. Sorry, sorry. Would you read it for me, Makoto? Sure. Hand it over. Here. Um, what's this? Ah, this is... What is it? Kyo... Which means... It's not very good. I see. Ah, but it's the best of the Kyo options, so it's not that bad. Anyway, let's see what's written. Desires. You can achieve them with a little work. Residence. Anywhere will be in your favor. See? It's not as bad as all that, right? Yeah, maybe not, but... That's it. What about love? Ah, love... Sure, my luck and love is written on there, right? Yes, um, luck and love is... Uh, what? It will cool with distance. Huh? So they're all still good results in the end. I guess that's true. Though I don't know what that last one was supposed to mean. If you get a bad result in your Omikuji, here, do you see the strips of paper tied all around here? If you tie up the Omikuji you pulled, they say you can leave the bad parts of your fortune here at the shrine when you go home. Leave the bad parts here? Does that mean all these people left their bad luck here? <laughs> Don't worry, I'm sure the gods will exorcise all the bad spirits. I see, that makes sense. Then I better hurry. Ah, oh, wait, one last thing. When you tie your omikuji, you should use your non-dominant hand. If you prove that you can override some difficulties, 
it will turn your bad luck so good. I see. Use my non-dominant hand. Huh? I got it. Then I'll follow suit. Huh? But I thought you got Daikichi, Makoto. Yes, but there's a part of my luck I didn't like, so I'm still going to tie it. An important part? Could it be... Mm-hmm. Well, I better tie mine, too. Let's see, my non-dominant hand. Hmm. Mm, this looks about... Hmm, it's quite hard, isn't it? Yeah. Just a little more. There. Ah! Huh? Kuh! Look out! Hmm. Ah, uh, are you okay? Y yes, I see. That's good. Th thank you. Sure, no problem. Okoto. Ah, I forgot. The Omikuji. I, I have to tie it, right? That's right. Alright. This was awkward enough. So I'm just gonna end this here. So, next part. Let's see how the remaining part of this session go. So, like, comment, and subscribe. And apparently there was some background noise 10 minutes ago. So, I don't know. I'll double check. So, have a good day.